All right, warriors, welcome back. We're going to do a breathing exercise, five seconds, five Mississippis. We're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to release together just to regulate our minds, our emotions. And look, it, they skyrocket at times, especially those of you coming in new and you're getting bombarded with dots connecting, things making sense, flying monkeys, enablers, letting the cat out the bag without them knowing it because they don't they don't realize it right and you're connecting dots and go holy shit I only told one person that uh, and it's overwhelming especially when it's coming from people that were closest to you because understand if the devil can't tempt you personally directly the devil's going to use those closest to you and for those of you that don't want to get into the spiritual side of it well then you can still relate to the fact that it is those closest to you that can cause you the most harm. Because the rest don't even know you like that. Unless it's a contract hit, they could care less. They're minding their business. And that's why I tell you, you need to be very, very careful with temptation. It's the seed that grows right here in your mind. FOMO, fear of missing out. And narcissists are fantastic at making you feel like it's more funnerist living their lifestyle. When in fact, it's yours that they envy most. They wish they could trade places with you. Which is why most of them want to take your place. Most of them want your identity. Hell, I got a dad that changed names three times, ultimately changing his name to mine. Because he burned so many damn bridges that he had to reinvent himself. So warriors, pay attention. And look, not everything I talk about is gonna make sense right now, but some of it will hit home. What I'm trying to do is establish the fact that if it hasn't happened to you, doesn't mean it won't in the future. So the idea is pay attention to the setups and the remarks and engage with all the other 1,500 videos in the Chronicle Library because it's going to save you from having to experience it. No one wants to go back through boot camp again. The butt hurts real. You can't make this shit up. Five seconds, warriors. Let's breathe in deep. Let's release. Let's take that badass walk on the beach. Come on, man. Release slowly. All right. Yeah. Now look. A golden nugget. Pay attention. Things to pay attention to when you're connecting. Whether it be a relationship, work associate, business associate, at an event, gathering, whatever it might be. At Hello, what you're looking for is... Does this person have qualities that are entertaining hobbies, interests, outside the realm of partying, drinking, and always needing to be in connections? That kind of codependency is worrisome and draining. And let me tell you what's worse. When two codependents hook up, because when it comes time to regulate emotions, both depend on each other. And if they're both going through some fucked upness th that day, it becomes an all-out drag-out because neither one is willing to lift the other. And that's the inherent danger. That's when you know, holy shit, we need to discuss this. It's an imbalance. Having any hobbies, having the mental maturity to engage in other interests, causes codependence to ruminate on the past not the past history like fun things hobbies because they have none it's interest of booty calls broken connections that maybe they feel out of boredom they can revive and so this is why it's so important that you connect with those of your like kind that have other interests so that they can entertain themselves as mental mature adults do 
and not fall back into curiosity on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Snapchat shit, or whatever you fucking call it. That's what these narcissists do. And then they just blanket envelope, send everybody a text to see who's biting, who's willing. They don't mind being a bench warmer part time so long as they have stability to fall back on. This is why it's important that in a connection, as you're talking to get to know you, what you want to get to know is what do you do for entertainment? What do you do to keep your mind busy? Now, warriors, the reason why this is going to be important is because you don't want to fall for the temptations that narcissists serve up in entertaining hobbies as collecting notch counts, booty calls, the harem closet. Ruh row, let the cat out the damn bag, aren't I? So check this out. It hurts narcissists at the same time to watch you go through your healing, progressing and succeeding without them. But get this, they can't stop watching. So this is why it's important for you to be able to scream your war cry, your truth, and being authentic. Because the fact is they can't stop. When, when they get bored, they have to check up on the past. What they're gonna check up on you is gonna cause them a hemorrhage, mortification, the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Because they can't stand to lose, but they can't either get enough of watching you progress. Falling deeper and deeper into the hole. What this is going to do is cause a climax in whatever current relationship they're in. To start comparing them to you subconsciously. Until one day, whoop, diary of the mouth, they actually call out your name and call Jose Jesse. Or Darren, Randy, right? Either way, they start to speak it because subconsciously that's who they're comparing them to. And they'll get caught at it. Hey, did you just call me Jesse? And they'll deny it. No, I didn't. Shut up. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. The hell you didn't. Who the hell is that? <laughs> So warriors, understand what I'm sharing with you are tidbits of truth because our hell on earth is not being able to keep up with the lies. And look, understand something. Not everybody's going to be karma to the narcissist. Not every connection is. Because understand, if it was a toxic-ass connection to begin with on both ends, they can write your ass just like a fart in the wind, just like you can them bad connections in their life they got plenty of in fact that's why they're looking over their damn shoulders all the damn time because there are those that lack the class that you do to step away and not attack them not provoke them not seek revenge like them but there are those that do and can't wait to deliver and that's why they're looking over their damn shoulders. That's why they have that sense of paranoia. You ever see them march out of a damn Walmart so quick or a bar? I mean, like they just saw a damn ghost. Oh, what they saw was a future ass whooping. They know. And it's why they keep vigilant. They stand watch with a sense of urgency. Feet don't fail me now. What I'm letting you know because you are not readable, you have no routines, you will become that what they fear because they have no idea. They can't get your temperature. They've sent flying monkeys to figure it out. And every time you cut them off, just like you have the narcissist, because you're applying the golden nuggets, a lifestyle change. You're not feeding information so that they can go back to the narcissist and give them what they need to know. So, warriors, narcissists are going to want to cause chaos and confusion in any new connections you come in contact with. I don't care. It doesn't even have to be romantic. Associations, work associates. They'll even try and set you up to figure out who your boss is. 
so they could have someone go there or they themselves will try and get in an entanglement to reach them and plant a seed of deceit some of you have gone out and had drug tests that random so-called random drug test because somebody put a bug in someone's ear trying to get you fired and little did you know you may have eaten something or drank something they offered you at a cookout or you invited them to your damn house and they put something in your spices your salt your sugar your tea and now you're gonna pop positive on a random this is why you need to be so so very careful warriors they have no limits no boundaries and all they want to do is win and it doesn't matter how they achieve it they'll even put themselves in arms away and it's why we create these channels so that we can share those insights I'm talking the details I'm not talking about these bullshit channels that everyone's talking about what's in the manual anybody can plagiarize that shit and then there are others that are stuck in a damn loop in their own butt hurt and all they want you to do is stay stuck in the same hurt not offering you solutions not offering you a way out not trying to get you weaned off the tit so warriors I give you the ammunition and I encourage you to listen to those channels that are offering you encouragement encouragement motivation and the tools necessary to escape, heal, and posture defensively against evil. Can I get a what what? <laughs> Y'all are awesome. Remember, we don't live in shoulda, coulda, woulda, warriors. You are the badasses. You're numero uno. And I thank you for all your support. And the support you give each other. The tribe support team, hoorah, thank you so much for keeping those damn trolls out. And let me tell you, this channel rattles a lot of damn narcissist chains. The support team's got their head, they got their hands full. But their voices, their remarks will never be read. They're irrelevant. And this is what we do for each other. It's called watching your six, protecting your flank. You've been through enough shit coming out of this. And it's hard enough connecting the dots. Look at me. Wipe your eyes. You're doing a great job. And you did it alone. No one can take the credit for that. Hell, if anything, the whole community's against you. But it won't be long. It won't be long. And those same sons of bitches that threw you to the wolves will soon realize you're coming back leading the pack. It's never goodbye, warriors. It's always until next time. Heal. The world needs more of you. Namaste. The wastelands through the highways and the See the